So now it's time to complete the journey from Bucharest in Romania to Istanbul, nine hours on the road. What will I see on the way? What you'll see while I'm in the car is a snatch of the three interviews that I did ahead of this game for Sony TV India and Paul Power, who was on my audio podcast last week with their thoughts on the big game. See you in Istanbul. Really looking forward to the atmosphere as much as anything, you know, and uh, obviously uh, I think if both teams play to the full potential, then City's potential is better than Inter's and I think City will win. But you never know. And But, but I still don't think that Pep will allow the team to be complacent. They'll go out there and give it, give it the best shot. Erling Haaland hasn't scored for four games on the trot. You know, he's, he's got to score uh, in the fifth one. So, you know, I think if uh, uh, if he's on song, Kevin De Bruyne, obviously, and, and Gundogan is like a, he's like a little thief. I, I, I know I shouldn't say that, but he, he sneaks into properties and gets into areas where he shouldn't be, you know, turns up in the 18-yard uh, box and, uh, and finishes things off his... Um, you know, and I, and I absolutely love um, uh, Bernardo Silva because of his work rate and his passion. You know, he's, uh, I, I just think the team is is built for success and I, I just hope they go there and, and make sure um, everybody enjoys a successful night. And from a great captain of the past in City's history to the team of right now, starting with Jack Grealish. To say, obviously, thank you for all the support. You know, it never goes unnoticed. Um, I think everyone in the world, you know, will be watching this game. Um, and yeah, big hello to my fans, and hopefully, I can, I can see you soon. You inspire a lot of people. Yeah, do I? Of course you do. <laughs> you know that. You've only got to walk around the stadium after people have got your hair cut. Yeah, no. Well, I suppose that's a good thing. Um, I obviously try, you know, and I think I think because people can relate to me a little bit, you know, I've always been um, someone, you know, that gets on with, with fans and stuff because I've been a, a football fan, you know, growing up myself, so I know what it feels like. Um, but, yeah, no, big hello to all my fans. I watched lots of your games in the under-18s, under-23s. I saw you on the touchline as a ball boy. Here you are now living the dream. What is that like, you know, to be a, a boy blue and to be living this dream? Yeah, it's a surreal moment. Obviously, from a kid, I was always a massive City fan. Always pretended to be players on the park when I was playing, and now I'm here playing with some of them. So it's who did you pl who did you pretend to be then? David, Sergio, Kev. So you know, Kev's still here now, and I'm playing with him and. Yeah, I just enjoy every day. Um, like you said, they have a mock start and I'm still a City fan. I'm still supporting the team more than ever on the bench. So, like I said, I'm just here to try and help the team as much as possible. And, yeah, my talent's still there. I feel like I've, I've come back into play and uh, my sharpness coming back now from, from my injury. So, yeah, I'm just looking forward to helping the team. Do you dream of lifting that trophy? <laughs> no, you can visualise. Um, but yeah, we 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 have to do it. Um, we have to be there at the day. We have to work hard. We have to make sure we give everything. Uh, it won't be an easy game at all. They're a top team. Uh, they've shown that in the in the semi final as well. Um, so we know it's going to be a very very tough match, and we just have to make sure we we are ourselves, and yeah, hopefully we can do it. Amazing. I don't actually know if we're in Turkey yet because we've shown our passport to the Bulgarian authorities and then we thought the Turkish authorities but now we've been in this queue for quite a while and it feels like it's going to be probably another half an hour, even an hour before we get through the fun of travelling from country to country. Eh? It's almost as if the Turks don't want us to come, but we are doing. Here you are, 
the Fox Istanbul. family. <laughs> in, 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 what do you make of all this? You've got the trophy up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a bit big, it's a bit big, big to lift. Yeah. <laughs> the Gundogan would look quite small next to that, wouldn't he? The Gundogan lifting that. What's your journey been like here? Oh God, oh, that's a great you. question. Uh, I, I've been working in Minneapolis this week, so I got a flight from Minneapolis to Frankfurt yesterday, arrived at 10 o'clock in the morning, and then from Frankfurt straight to here. So it's been a long, a long 15, 16 hours. He's still, he's still up for it. He's still, right? up for it. He's still, he's still yeah. to get to a, a different to a place. Right? Yeah, we, we came straight from Manchester on Thursday, we did. So we flew out yesterday and got it's here about 9, 10 o'clock last night. So we've had a good time. Brilliant. Have you met many Inter Milan fans? No, I've met loads of City fans though. And... Uh, a few Inter Milan fans in we're the hotel the side, where we're staying. Yeah, yeah. We're staying yeah. the side, so it's not bad, it's good. We're the uh, city side, aren't we, yeah. near the uh, UEFA fan yeah. park? So. so are you all feeling optimistic? Oh, yeah, yes. very optimistic. Yes. Yeah. The only danger is they score early and then they, they shut up, don't they? Shut up shop and then we've got to try and break a really stubborn defence down. But... Harlan's not scored for seven, uh, one goal in the last seven games, so he must be due a few, a few yeah, goals. Yeah, he's tomorrow. Yeah, good I think Grealish really tomorrow. There. I've got a feeling about Grealish. I feel like through the whole thing, someone stepped up by sit. Not one, not it's not all been about one player through it, has it? Like it was Haaland against Leipzig, and yeah, then it was exactly. the Bernardo, the Bernardo the and then Kev, Kev away. You know, Bernardo at home against Real. I reckon, I reckon, I reckon Grealish has got it in tomorrow. I think Grealish will score. What's we'll score? It's a big shout from a guy that scores many goals. I know, but I've, I've got a feeling that he'll we'll be. Score, he'll be doing some money on that. Score. Some money on that. Three one. Three one for me. Yeah, three. Three, one. Three, uh, three. Well. Again, we're aiming 3 1 or 5 0, <laughs> so most people think we're, we're very happy. Yeah, 3 1 or so. Yeah. I think a final's always tightly. Last, last week we were all saying that, weren't yeah, we? It was 2 1. I reckon 2 0. 2 0. Enjoy it, lads. Yeah. 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 Cheers. 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 Enjoy your food. Have a, time. <laughs> Have a great time. <laughs> night but nothing major really considering there were there were thousands out i think somebody drove by on a motorbike and lobbed a beer bottle in the crowd but uh, then they just rode off and that's the only trouble i've seen all i've been here three days not seen any other trouble you've been a fan for a long time haven't you yeah yeah what yeah, does yeah. This, mean to you, the journey? this is the pinnacle isn't it i mean the last weekend and winning the league is it's just enhanced this even more i mean it's big enough as the champions league final but to do the treble this is everything just think where we were 24 years ago when who was doing the treble then confident but I, I was confident in Porto so uh, should beat him bit of doubt there but I think that's being a City fan so what do you think of the City? hot hot definitely <laughs> have you been here before? Uh, no it's no. amazing isn't it? Yeah. yeah what do you think? it's dazzling over here isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. are you confident? yeah I am 
I enjoyed the day. Okay. Cheers, Ian. If you come to Istanbul, as well as watching the Champions League final, you've surely got to come on the Bosphorus. The bridge behind me goes from Europe to Asia, and the sea looks very, very inviting, and uh, just about to take a little cruise on the Bosphorus on Champions League day. Does it get any better than that? It's better than Stoke on a, on a whip windy Wednesday night, isn't it? A bit of culture, eh? I thought you'd be in the fan park. I know. Covering after last night. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know for that last night. <laughs> what do you think of this place? I mean, it's a brilliant view out there, isn't it? Yeah. Um, some of it's hit and miss, but majority's beautiful. People don't, are lovely. Don't feel like Europe though. <laughs> well, that bit over there is Asia. I know. <laughs> I see. But it's been really good so far. The uh, site is different, but it's better than we went to Porto for the final last time. So it's a different experience, obviously out of COVID. So. But yeah, but now the fans have been great. It seems like a great vibe for tonight. So. Are you confident? Always. Got to be. Got to be confident. It's going to be the night, the treble. It is. They've all learned. Pep's learned. Players have learned. Can't mess it up, can we? Yeah. That's it. I think, uh, I think a lot of the players know what they have to do. So, like I say, just I think into Milan's run as well, going into the final hasn't been a tough one. So I think they'll hopefully run into some danger tonight and then we can put them put it away and get the Champions League walls to bed. Enjoy your cruise. Yeah, you too. You too, thank yeah, you. Cheers. to spend a Saturday afternoon ahead of the Champions League final, is it? It's not bad at all. We can't wait for the football to come, but we've got a long day ahead of us, so we're going to spend time looking at Istanbul. We've been singing about it for not just one year, two years, but the last three years, so we're finally here, and uh, we're going to take it in, and we're going to have a good look round. We're going to put the bus tour, we're now on the boat tour, and we can't wait for the game tonight, so bring it on. Enjoy. Indeed, we will. Absolutely, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. This journey as well in a packed underground. I love cheesy toys; they're the best. <laughs> it showed us all the way. It's going to lead us to the uh, to the ground and lead us to the win. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. Inside the stadium, it's starting to fill up, and I'll be doing my piece on Indian television very, very soon, which is a nice privilege to broadcast to so many people in India. But obviously, that is the stadium as it's starting to fill up, and a lot of the people will be they're not undercover. I don't think it's going to rain, and the sun's going down, so it should be all right. It's starting to get nervous now. Are you? After two seconds, be ready. 
24 years ago, Andy, you led City out at Wembley in the 99 playoff final against Gillingham in the third tier of English football. And here we are in Turkey, the Champions League final. Could you believe that? Well, I'm not a 2 0 down, no. <laughs> Um, but no, listen. It's been a, it's been a magical journey, and it's not just been a journey from then. You know, it's just, this journey's been over a hundred years long, and um, and I don't like talking before the game, Ian. It's difficult because I know how football works, uh, and nothing's um, black and white. You know, and um, it's an opportunity. Pep said that uh, it's about arriving, and you've got to be there, and we're there. You know, we're here, and um, it's an opportunity to do something you know, something magical to, to do the treble. So I'll be looking for you after the game and hopefully I'll have a big smile on my face and we'll be, we'll be you know, celebrating. But as it is at the minute, you know, I'm, I'm mindful of uh, the way football works. Thanks for what you did, because without you, we wouldn't be here. Me and a lot of other people, you know, it was just, like I say, it's part of the journey. And, um, you know, whether it's the 20s, the 40s, the 60s, the 90s, or where we are today, you know, it's all part of this this football club's journey, and um, brilliant to be a part of it. Um, we come through that period of adversity when it was tough. Fans stuck with the club, club stayed strong, and then, you know, we are where we are today. And uh, I think if any club deserve it in the world, but their fans, it's uh, it's Manchester City. Fingers crossed. Absolutely, one hundred percent crossed. Everything else crossed as well.
Aubrey wearing a number eight shirt, which Colin Bell wore, and of course with the crown in the back. So many things to make me so, so proud. It really doesn't get any better, does it? Guillaume, you've seen pretty much everything and you've seen Pep Guardiola's career all his, his life. I mean, what does this stand, do you think? He's, he's the greatest of his generation, for sure. Uh, he's done it with two teams, this treble. The way he's done it is a new way of winning and he's actually taking football to a new direction. It's not just about winning, is it? Uh, uh, but the, the game today, the final treble, gets won on perhaps one of the worst games of City in a long time. But it seems like the team is tired uh, mentally, physically, and luck was on City's side. There might be some rebuilding to do now. I know it's perhaps the wrong day to say this, but do you think you'll stay around and do that? I think it'll be around for two years. And in that period, yes, rebuilding is needed because when you win, uh, I guess you have to make sure that you keep winning. And to do that, yeah, you have to bring new blood. I'm sure that will happen. It's quite a story, this, isn't it? It's just amazing. It's just amazing. It's just amazing because also behind the scenes, a bunch of friends that that uh, met here again and uh, all with the same idea, the same way of thinking. Um, we put in so many hours. We love what they do. And uh, that group of friends have managed to, to get another treble. They've already done one in Barcelona and they've done another one. So amazing, amazing. I'm exhausted. I'm just going to say it one more time. Isn't it great to be a bloke?